like we always do at this time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to just make a quick video so we can clear this shit up in the air. Y'all stop thinking that this nigga right here is Rich Homie Kwan brother that they're talking about. This is not the brother that they are talking about. So they saying that the brother Dre, nobody still never seen Dre. When the dude came in and she was talking, she was like, help me pick him up. That was him, the one that we look at on the screen. Not the brother Dre. So please do not get it confused, y'all. And think that this is the brother. Because everybody's like, oh, they look just alike. Stop, Juan. They don't look shit alike because they ain't even his brother. See, I'm going to stop that motherfucking bullshit. That ain't even his brother. <clears throat> so, I'm going to say it again. Just so people won't get it misconstrued. Because they show this guy a lot. I thought that this was the brother. This not even the brother. So, we don't know who Dre the Hooligan is. We know who he is, but we, we I thought that this was him through all these videos I've been looking through. Because they show this guy, the engineer, a lot. He showed up before the police came. And he asked, where is Dre? So she called him, the dad, then the police. And Dre hauled that and left her there. Dre lived it. That's why he asked the, the fatal question. Now, everybody kept trying to figure out. Everybody kept trying to figure out. Who the fuck was the guy came in the house? We've been trying to figure this shit out for days. Where's Dre? He not here. Where Dre? He not there. Because Dre knew that man was dead. Dre, listen. Let me tell you how fucked up it is. I mean, y'all pay attention. This man came in and asked where the fuck is Dre who lived there. He didn't live there. But he beat the police there because she called him first. When he got there, Dre, who picked this man up off the couch with food in his mouth, left his brother there and then left him. Hard ass and left him. Not only did he pick him up with food in his mouth, leave him on the couch, he hard ass out the house. When this man got there, his brother was clearly nowhere around. And then, you know what I mean, prove to you how the brother had to clean the, the, the whole scene up Take the food out of his mouth and everything. I'm gonna show you how. Now, you may tell you how the brother fucked up so bad. Not only did he say he found him in the kitchen, food in his mouth, he cleaned the food out of his mouth, put him on the chair, and left him there for dead. Because when she came, he ain't had no food in his mouth. He had foam in his mouth. Where the food went? He didn't take the food out where he went on the swallow and ate it. No. Thing and I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry. Are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes. Yes. Okay, ma'am. If there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, I'm sending the. So now, there you have it. The brother allegedly found this man unresponsive, food in his mouth, on the kitchen floor. Picks him up, take him, take him to the to the couch, leave him. What happened to the food in his mouth, y'all? Hmm. Something, something just ain't right. Keep sweat, boy. Something, something, something just ain't right. Get that shit. Now, I'm going to say it again slowly. Some people ain't smart enough to put this upstairs. First of all, straining the membrane, right? They confuse you. They made you think that that was the brother. He the one who showed up to the house and asked where was the brother. She said, he's not here. Whatever he was saying or doing, she was like, stop. Did he start coming there filling on her when he asked where the brother was at? And when he said the brother wasn't there, did he start filling on her? 
I will let you hear one more time and ask you, what did she say stop for? It didn't feel like somebody was following her or something. What did you say? The paramedics to help you now, stay on the line, and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I need to know about how old um, he is. He's um, 34. Okay, are you right by, by him now? Yes. Okay, please put your phone on speaker so your hands are free to help. Can I add his dad to the call? He's trying to call me back because I called him first before I called you. Okay, so we need to help. We need to help your boyfriend now. Okay, listen carefully. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. He is not waking up. Ma'am? Yes. Okay, you, you got to get him to the floor. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. She's like, he's not moving quick. That lady was like, huh, man? Like, you're not talking to me. Who the fuck is you talking to? Flat on his back on the floor. That's how you knew that somebody was there the whole time. Yes, ma'am. Help me. Who's Drake? He's not here. That's him talking, y'all. That's him talking. Were you able to get him to the floor? Yes, he's not. His heart not being like anything. Man, so I'm just over here getting a little workout in at the park, man. Now the question would be, if your motherfucking brother was laid on the floor, unresponsive, food stuck in his mouth, would you just pick him up and leave him on the couch on hard ass? Hard ass? Where was the brother by the time the engineer got there? Was they clearing out the house, cleaning out the house? I don't know. But they can get as mad as they like. They can turn purple. What you want to do? Get in the ring? <laughs> Fuck you all do. Beat me up. I'm going to say what I feel, and I feel like it's suspicious. The brother would dick off and leave his brother there. She would call an engineer, and he would get there before the brother. They didn't tell you your brother was there unresponsive, nigga. You found him on the floor, bro, and he's still not moving, bro. What's going on? Damn, that shit's sad. Sad, sad shit, my nigga. Sad, sad shit. But like I said, I see through all the bullshit, clearly. I ain't want to say that the brother had nothing to do with it, but you best believe if that brother had something to do with it, the dad is covering up too, because I think those both of his sons, he going to cover it right up with him. That's why he said when I got there, they was bringing him out on the stretcher. Was your son there yet? Did your son come back? Keep that in mind, y'all. They told two, two different stories. She said she found him on the couch with foam in his mouth, foam coming out of his mouth, or like he had foam coming out of his mouth. The brother found him on the floor with food in his mouth. Tell me, tell me, tell me how that story. So if y'all ain't know what they said, the stories ain't collab collaborated or whatever, that's what it is. They stories did not match. And they don't take a rocket scientist to see that. She said that he had white stuff. What happened to the food? It had to be on the chair, the couch, or somewhere. I'm sure he didn't swallow it if he did. Ask the brother what kind of food he had in his mouth and see is it in his stomach. I don't have no room for the shit. Shit. Shorty, he's a 10. 10. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Cost it down back with the job so the job won't get soft. Wakanda Forever. Great City, Newton, New Jersey. 07103. Broward County. Stand the fuck up. Niggas don't tell me I ain't from Broward. Nigga, I, yeah, I ain't from Broward. I'm from North New Jersey. Nigga, I lived in Broward for years. Nigga, since 19. Well, it's technically since 91, boy. Since 91, boy. Don't tell me nothing about Broward. God damn it. Salute, cop, back, shoot. Thank you to the moderators. Thank you to everybody rocking my channel. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Make sure y'all share the video. This shit is helping me out, man. I need the help. I ain't begging you for money. I'm not asking for no cash apps. Make sure you smash the like button and share the video. It's your boy Kyle Sadan. Salute, cop back, shoot. I'm gone.